everybody, thank you for tuning in to watch another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be doing a walk around on a 1959 Nomad station wagon that I just recently picked up. Unfortunately, this car is going to get cut up and parted down. I would love to try to restore it, but uh, the car was dropped while being moved in the junkyard on a forklift. And the front end, as you can see, the wing is pretty damaged. The roof is caved in. So I picked up this car for parts to restore another 59 Nomad station wagon that I'm working on. This is the second year of the four-door Nomad that Chevrolet produced in 1958. It was the first year and it was based off the Bel Air trim. In 1959, it was based off the Impala trim. So as you can see, it's got all the Impala moldings going along it, along with the Impala door trim. It's got a power seat power rear tailgate you can see that the switch is the same as a convertible top switch with the Impala dash trim on the dash this car also has power steering power brakes original frost blue with harbor blue top very nice color combination one piece California bumpers and the taillight lenses have the stainless trim going through them, just like the Impalas do, but the wagons are much shallower than the Impalas are because of the tailgate when it goes down into, so it doesn't hit the bumper. The car was in great shape before they accidentally dropped it. It's unfortunate that that happened. The floor pans are in wonderful condition. Those are the power seat plastic covers there. Do one more walk around on this thing real quick. It is a very rare wagon. It was the most expensive model in 1959 other than the Corvette. It was more expensive than the 59 Impala convertibles. So there weren't very many of these produced. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel as I'll be uploading many more 58, 59 Chevy videos and accessories. I am planning on uploading a video on the 1958 Chevrolet AC system and all of the components very soon. So look out for that video next.